I was like, you know, got to change up the environment a little bit, you know, because uh, I see my subscribers are getting up, so I got to continue to bring you guys high quality. Um, I started to go back to school. I'm at uh, a technical college here, not too far from me, and I'm going there to become um, an IT. So I'll actually be done in May of 2016, so I'm super happy about that. And it's pretty crazy because my first class was sociology. And um, I've never had a sociology class before, which is the first thing that we learned was um, gender, race, and you know, groups in society. And it was, it was a, a, some stuff is kind of like an eye opener a little bit. Um, so it was pretty cool. A transgender actually came up in the book. And I don't, I mean, you guys should have saw my face. I mean, I didn't make it obvious, but it was just like, in my head, I was like, whoa, like this really threw me off. I guess it just comes to show that I guess some schools are really already up to speed. Now, the guy that, that they were mentioned in the book was the guy that, um, he's a trans man that decided to have uh, the kid instead of his wife. Um, so it was pretty interesting. So in my class, everybody was. Nobody was negative about it. Um, this one girl was kind of puzzled. She was like, you know, why would a man have a, a child? And I'm not going to lie, kind of... I didn't really like it either. Because, you know, as a guy, I know that I would never want to have a child. Um, but that's his business and that's his decision. Um, and another thing, too, like when it comes down to books and stuff... I feel like image is so important nowadays that that's all people really care about, you know, as far as like transgender and stuff is like, oh my god, that's a man, like, oh my god, I would've never fucking known, like, no shit, that's why it's called, I'm sorry, but no shit, that's why it's called transitioning, that's why it's called being transgender, you're not gonna sit here and you're not gonna always look at someone like, oh, that's transgender, no, you know, that's the person, it's a male, it's a female, you know what I mean, you're not transgender, there's no gender called transgender. Um, but we can go on another topic about that. I'm not going to get in depth with that. In the book, it talked about how, like, social media, we're very hooked on it, you know. Um, not everybody, but, you know, nowadays, we're all on our cell phones and this and this. And a lot of people don't like to hear this. And I, I think they know it, but they don't want to talk about it in society. You know, we really are glued to this stuff. I mean, you know, Instagram. Nobody knew about Instagram. Now, it's, Instagram is, people can't live without Instagram. Um... Facebook, all this other stuff, and it's really, I remember when I had a Facebook in 2006 or 7, and when I had it, I never used it, it was boring, nobody knew anything about it, so 2011, oh no, I think 2010, 2011 is when I went back on um, Facebook, and because all my friends in high school, yeah, Facebook, Facebook, but for me, all that stuff is dying out, and a lot of people, you know, they're still wanting to use it. Hey, you could use it, whatever. And nowadays, when you go up the corporate ladder, if you're doing that, or if you're starting your own business, you gotta be careful about the stuff you post. You gotta be careful what you say. There's just so many ways how the internet can really fuck up your life. And I've been hanging out with my homeboys now, too. Like, uh, it's perfect timing. I like hanging out with them. Yes, they're cisgendered, and, um, it's amazing because one of my friends, like, I've known him for a couple of years, and it's crazy, but he knew me before my transition, and on my Facebook it says Carson Graham, right? So when he hit me up out of nowhere, I did not have to do any explaining. I didn't have to do shit. Like, he immediately called me Carson. When we hung out in person, he's called me Carson. He introduces me to his friends as Carson, and he uses the correct pronouns. It was funny when I wore this out to this uh, downtown Fort Lauderdale, like the way I'm dressed right now. This lady, she was just like, you look so familiar. Like, are you a, um, she told my homeboys, like, she thought I was a rapper or something. I was like, I just took it as a compliment. It was pretty cool. Uh, so, I was like, okay, cool. Um, and it was so crazy because the clubs, I guess, like, I can't wear a tank top. My homeboys are just like. One of my friends was like, oh, why, because of the muscles? It's like, I don't really know. It's so stupid. So I had to get this shirt. This is his shirt, by the way. He said I could keep it. So thanks, Derek, for letting me keep this shirt, because this, this is one of my favorites now. I love, I love this shirt. It's really comfortable. All right, so adding on to this video, is this is what I'm going to do. Once this video gets 200 views, 
The next topic I'm going to do for you guys is how to have your friends use the correct pronouns, including family members. So we can just all continue to live our lives peacefully and get along without being rude about it and how to do it the right way, right? Love you guys. It's King Carr. You already know. Keep watching. Keep subscribing. If you love the video, share it.